What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What? <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What's up B? Today we are going to be building some ramps for Brian's Mustang, or I guess for his driveway, since he's finally going to go lower. Show me now. We're at the lumber yard. Let's run it. So we found our first piece of wood here. We're gonna cut in half. Now we need like a two by four, so we can just send it there. Yeet. Now we gotta find two by four. And here we found our base. Now we're gonna find someone to cut it. Cutting some wood, cutting some. All right. Let me cut it. There we go, right there. Off with the job. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, guys, got our four pieces of wood here. Now we're gonna sever this plank in half and we'll be good to go. Well, she should have done this from the start. All right, got the wood all nice and loaded up. Seriously, who needs a truck when you have a CRV? Sick, but I'll see you guys at home. We are back home from Home Depot. Got the essentials. Here's our base support. Some good multi-purpose screws the snack, and our planks. General setup. This can push back enough so this can flex. This is sturdy enough for the big ass Mustang. Let's send it. The true test. Holds me and will hold the Mustang. <laughs> Just self tapped a bunch of screws on our base. We're good to go. All right, so ramps are good. Uh, Brian was in a hurry to leave. But as of right now, just got the wheel off the prelude. I inspected the barrel and the tire. Everything seems okay. And I couldn't see any damage. Again, 205 on the 10 and a half. But I ran the 205 on the 11s with 75 pounds of air and they did great. Cause I only put these at 50 pounds. So maybe I just needed that little more for it to seat properly. But I'm gonna try to put air in it, see what I can do. And if I can get, if I can get to sit, I'm just gonna run down to Machi and it'll help me out. All right, so I got the tire here filled with 50 pounds of air. Right now I'm gonna test for any leaks. The best way to do that is the water bottle and soap trick. So just water, soap, put a hole in the cap and just pretty much spray it anywhere you could think of that the wheel could leak from. So hardware, lip, barrel, and once you see like air escaping, it'll signify a leak. Cool, so pretty much from what I can see, um, to my vision, is this tire is not seated properly, so I must have just ran too low of pressure and it popped out the barrel here. Easy fix, hopefully that's the issue. There are bubbles all along the barrel here. Good thing I didn't actually debead and damage my barrel because I would have been, I would have been super sad. But it's gonna kick it for a bit. Wait for the boys. We'll head down to Machi. What is up, everybody? So just got back from Machi, and my leak is coming from the hardware. More specifically, number four here. The back end was loose, and I think there might be some silicone like stuck underneath the nut here. So it's not fully seated, so it's leaking air. So when I have time, I'm just gonna take the wheel again back to Machi and dismount the tire and I'll just go ahead and, uh, again, rebuild the Rezac, disassemble it, all that good stuff to ensure that it won't leak again. But it is Saturday. Saturday is for the boys. So right now I'm gonna go link up with Alex and we'll cruise around. Wish you can bring the Prelude, but I don't wanna swap out <laughs> wheels, my stockies, and cruise it. It's just, it's a pain in the ass to do. But I'll see you guys at Alex's. We here, boys.
made it, everybody. Gonna get some coffee. I feel like shit. Bro, don't put the camera. On. <laughs> How was our run, bro? How was our run? Yeah. Dude, that was that was a good run actually. That was a really good run. Yo! What's up, baby? What's up, baby? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Off-roading vlog coming soon. So what's your name? Haley. <laughs> What do you like to do for fun, Haley? I'm an artist. Yo, how big are them tits? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can you do a little uh, twirl so it's gotta for be us? Real, right? Can I get a little twirl? Twirl? Twirl or twirl? Oh my god. <laughs> how far can you shove one of those chicken nuggets twirling. down your throat? Huh? How far can you shove one of those chicken nuggets down your throat? Yes, sir. I'm actually recording. Oh, don't record. <laughs> what is up, everybody? So today is the current day. It is April 25th. Um, I forgot about this vlog. I just remembered that it was only like six minutes long, and I need a little bit more content. So I'm here today finishing up this vlog. So today, to keep you guys up to date, all of my wheels are now not leaking. All the hardware is torqued down the spec, super siliconed, so nothing is leaking. They are holding about 60 PSI, so everything's good. But today, as you can see, my quarter panel is actually airing out on the lip itself. I don't know if the quarter panel is hitting the lip or if the quarter panel is this slightly off and already resting on the upper control arm because of my raised upper ball joint. But today I picked up some three millimeter hub centric spacers from Amazon. These are about 15 bucks. And honestly, the quality is really nice. Of course they are CNC'd, but again, these are hub centric. I believe the bore for Preludes is 64.1. So hopefully these give me enough clearance so that I, I can actually air out between the lip and tire. All right guys, got the wheel off. I think I should change out this rotor soon. I've got the spacer here. Oh, like a glove. Now let's just do the other side and see if this works. I think that's honestly just about all I need. But if anything, if I need to buy two or stack these, that shouldn't be an issue. All right, other spacer is on. Let's put this wheel up, see if it makes a difference. Worked a little bit. Hmm, almost there. It's like on the very edge of the lip, on the opposite side. Oh, this one is almost there too. Damn, it is, it is, it's like a sliver. So I think if I stack them three and three, that extra five, six millimeters would be perfect. But, so I think this is just as good as I can get it. The tire is literally on the inside of the rear quarter panel here. So this is almost how my 11s fit. And my wheel isn't really showing too much barrel with the stretch. Because Nestor and I just <laughs> aired the hell out of these up. So that's pretty good guys. See that's almost there. I wish I can go back in time six years ago and the knowledge I have now about cars just shaved my rear quarter panels. Cause this is pulled out like I think three or four millimeters back when I was running my 16 by nines. And this side I rolled a little bit more than the other, but at least it's not entirely on the wheel now. So I think we're good. I think the next thing I would honestly have to do is just run a uh, 20540 that's not a federal, so it doesn't run wide. But these tires are still brand new with honestly less than 100 miles on them. So this is just gonna have to do. All right guys, so again, that's probably the best that I can do without running a 
different 205-40 tire. If I run a different one, I'll probably get more of a stretch, but at the moment I am quite content. But thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video, and thank you again for all of your continuous love and support. You guys are awesome. The channel is growing at a faster rate now, now that I'm monetized, obviously. And I, again, just appreciate you guys watching the videos and supporting the channel and buying the merch. I'm trying to get some shirts in. Um, I don't really don't have an ETA, I wanna say. Maybe within like a month or so, get some product designs going and then find a supplier, make the shirts and then post them in the video and on the website. Also really wanna do a photo shoot with the Prelude because all she does is just sit in the garage and I know if I wanna make this channel grow and my Instagram grow, I need some photos. But enough of me blabbing. Thank you again so much guys for all your continuous love and support. If you are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, aim high, drive low. We'll see you next time. Take care.